How's it going, guys? We are playing some Red Purple Kid today. Um, because I just want to play something that's different and have some fun. So uh, let's let's uh, have some fun today. We're going first here. So we're going to play Nami. Ooh, let's grab, grab Zora. Now, a lot of people are not going to be playing Red Purple Kid because of his ability, but I saw Red Purple Kid do very well in Eggman's online tournament, and I watched that game, and I thought, oh, dang, this is a pretty cool, interesting deck idea. The idea that the deck is great into Sakazuki because it plays a bunch of rushers that swing in as they're played, it, it's a neat little thing. Um, hmm. So I think... For this ability. It says I can't swing in since my leader is still a 5k body. I will play wired. Sorry, not wired. Heat. I'll play heat and pass turn. Heat's great because once you start being able to just like loop your Dawn, you just have a 6k, uh, 6k body for three. There we go. First couple attacks, you're perfectly fine taking because. Let's face it, you want to be able to ramp. Now, here we go. Now that we have useless Captain Kid here, this is where the deck can now pop off. Uh, swing, use leader ability to uh, minus a Don, but then get that Don back because the five drop Kid, and now I'm a 6k body. There we go. Then I can swing 6k in with Heat, and Heat will keep being a 6k until the end of my next turn. Uh oh, trigger. Yep, that's about right. Can we all just agree that yellow is incredibly annoying to play against? Because yellow wins by losing. You know, if that makes sense. You have, you, you can do better by taking life. Which is so, ugh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded from playing yellow so much. All right, we got six cards in hand. Oh, Gadatsu. Yep, there goes Heat. Such a good card. Um, we'll take that because we want to get down to three. Now, if he swings in with Satori, I will just block. Oh boy. So, like you said, when this card's uh, once per turn, when a Dawn from my Dawn deck is returned to my Dawn deck, ugh, returned to the Dawn deck, add one Dawn from my deck in, as active. I'm fairly positive that does mean if I have two, that just means I can do it twice. Boom. Just ramped. Now I have a seven Dawn swing into his 5k body. With this, with this deck, you want to control the board. Like, that's your big thing. Because now he's going to have to give me two cards or block. There we go. Still leaves me with four Dawn remaining. Um... Ugh, I don't know what to play here. I mean, I guess I could just do this. Swing 5k with Nami. Oh, Thunderbolt. That's fair. Hmm. Very rare that it happens, but when it happens, it's... Oh. Got eight Dawn, which means he could plop down a Katakuri. He could throw a Dawn on leader. Ah, oh, there it is, Katakuri, and he's going to get rid of my Eustace kid. Yep, now I am back to being above that. We'll let Nami go. Hmm. 
much as I want to keep this, he's not ever going to go above seven cards in hand. Sir. Okay. So, I'd have to swing in three times in order to KO. But, unfortunately, I know that's not going to be able to happen. So, let's do this. Oh, throw it on. Attack Kadatsu. Use Don minus ability to ramp one. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. Next, we'll do Sora. Swing 6k into his blocker. There we go. Leaves me with the one up. Or radical beam. Ep, there's. <laughs> oh man. I'll take that so I can be in rad beam. Uh, rad beam area. Um, we can all just agree that Anel is the best deck in format. Like, I'm sorry if you you think it's Sakazuki. I agree, Sakazuki's amazing. But I do think Anel is just the best deck in format. <clears throat> that constant life regain, like that ain't that ain't going away. Hmm. We'll play Nami, search. Let's grab another Rad Beam just in case. Because we will need that. Be seven. It's gonna pump me a bite two, it'll be a nine. Let's do that. Activate ability. Come on. I gotta start clearing board. Because it gives me two cards out of this, then I can absolutely go in and at least get rid of the Gadatsu. And with a handful of 2Ks like I have, this is not too bad. Dang, he really did just drop the L4. Let's go seven. There we go. Okay, I at least got rid of that. But now this is a great opportunity for him to play seven drop Lin Lin or shit, even another uh, Katakuri. The fact that he dropped an L Thor. I mean, it makes sense it was the right move. Luffy is an incredibly dangerous card, though. And this, I mean, it's been a great card in every format. Lower the camera down a little bit. There we go. Hope you guys are having a great day, by the way. <laughs> oh, boy. He's got three. We both have three cards in hand. No. Leave my Luffy alone. I don't think I can defend it, though, again. Um, if he swings in the Yamato at like a 10k, then I might. <gasps> Wait a minute. Yes, this thing, this thing, uh. Hmm, because here, if I block it with the 10k, then he's going to swing 9, and I'm not going to be able to defend it. I think Captain Kid has served me well. But that Luffy is the only way I can get rid of that. You know, this might be a very dangerous method of play but here. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Eight plus two. This will be ten. Card ability to go up to 11, so he can't. There we go. Up to nine. C 
come on. There we go. But as soon as he drops a seven cost Lin Lin or Katakuri, I'm kind of boned. Oh. Make him waste all of his Dawn uh, going after... Oh, my leader? Hmm. Sure, why not? Oh, good. No counter power. Now, the problem with this deck that I have been seeing is that sometimes your hand can get insanely bricked. Even though I don't run that many cards in here without counter power. He's got two swings. Oh, no. And that is a round one loss. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, okay. It's all good. Like I said, this is a deck that I've just been tinkering around, around tinkering around with. Oh, hello, Queen. Um, I'll go first. Why not? We'll keep. Uh, nothing to play on this turn. This deck is... Just, like, I can see the potential in this deck, but I don't understand why, why I'm not doing as well with it. You know? It just feels like... This deck should be doing far better than what it currently is doing. Ah, there it is. There's the bow up, which can be KO'd with the new Nico Robin. We'll save Zoro. There is Dofi. Because you think Rush in this current format with Sakazuki being as prevalent, um, it's going to do well into Sakazuki. But against any other deck, it's just, it's just not it. Uh, let's KO the Boa. Swing seven with Zoro. Hmm. There's that. And then we'll swing six with Kid. Come on, give me a 2K. Oh, there we go. Because, like, in, in all honesty, I feel like this format's already gotten very boring because it's just basically the top four decks right now, which is Sakazuki, Anel, Purple Luffy, and Katakuri. Um, well, that's all I've got. Die this time. Uh, Sakazuki, for me, I don't know why. I just, the deck just does not work for me. I don't understand what the problem is. I don't understand why I'm having such difficulties with playing it, but my RNG with the deck is just trash. I play. I, I let you guys know I was playing in the Eggman tournament, and three games in a row, I did not see a single one of my Rob Luchis. With how much I was searching in the deck, I didn't see any of them. And, to, and like one game, I think I saw them like near the end, but it was too late at that point. Um, I don't know. I want to learn how to play the deck better, but it just seems like the RNG gods are against me on that one. So, like I said, we're trying kid. And there goes, yep, 3,000 worlds. Cool. Take, let me take a life. Just block her up. Oh, yeah. Because I do have Luffy here. Currently got six down to work with, so next turn, there we go. Swing, use card ability to re -get that, uh, regain that Dawn. Just like this, this isn't a bad matchup for me. Play Sanji, so I'll be able to at least take away that Dawn. 
Oh, sorry, take away uh, one more life so I can be a 5k leader on my turn. Now, that is the biggest thing, of course, with this leader, is that you are... Oh, I don't like that. Uh, you are a 4k leader until you're a 3 or less life. There we go. Which, that is the big sad. Swing, use ability, go to seven, so I'll just get that Don back next turn. Because yeah, at the end of the game, you're swinging 7k with this guy every turn. Jesus. If I can at least get that last life, then I can just swing in with Luffy and do some crazy shenanigans. Let's grab an extra 2k. That's all I can really do at this point. But a full board of blockers is not great. And I will be showing the deck pro uh, profile after after this. Okay, another nine cost, but he's not really going to be doing much else besides just... Okay, yep, swinging in. Ooh. Yoink. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh my god, that's just three life now that I'm just... <sighs> Let's defend... Do it. Unblockable, baby. Swing, use card action. Oh, that the red ten cost Luffy just just puts in work with this build. I you'll see the increment up. Oh. Hello, the darkness, my old friend. <laughs> That's fair. Um, there we go. Uh, at that point, yeah, I gotta let him go. go to 11 can't be blocked there you go swing minus a dawn how many big bodies have i gotten rid of not enough that oh, there there goes <laughs> there goes that one uh nope Take that. Uh oh. Okay. Activate ability. Now 10k. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, that's Queen for you. <laughs> queen is. Oh man. Queen is. Queen is great. It's so good. It's not as good as Anel, in my opinion, but it is, it's like a different type of good. Different type of annoying. Come. Yep, I can't save that, so. How many? We got one, two, Yamados. Only two in the discard pile. Now we got three. Come. There we 
we go. We got heat. Ugh. Let's see. Um, I'll play that. So you have to block. Uh, unfortunately, I think that is game. Uh, we just, we, we could not apply enough pressure. And there's Mihawk. Yep. <laughs> And there's nine. Nah, I don't want to do a rematch. That's a that's a tough one. Um, let's go look into the deck profile that I'm currently working with. Here we go. Obviously, the, the leader is one is the only dual color leader that I can think of that has five life. So it's kind of neat. Though your leader really can't start swinging in aggressively until you either have the five drop. A kid on board or you have uh or you want to like buff it up or until it gets down to three life or less uh, beyond that though at the end of your at the end of the game where you're just like you minus minusing a dawn you're just going to get that dawn back next turn you're, you've got a 7k leader swing every single turn which is really cool um for sanji's it's just a, it's a searchable 2k that allows us to grab uh, well, and add a card from our life to our hand if our opponent's not going to do it, not going to attack us. Uh, Nami, it's our searcher of the deck because most of our cards are Straw Hat, so it works beautifully. Uh, three Zoros, sorry, four Zoros because you got to get that rush. It's wonderful. Um, Nico Robin is our uh, new card from set five that you play a KOA blocker with a cost of, with a power of one thousand or less. Basically, Rebecca blocker just folds to this card immediately and it is searchable um now i was doing two of the uh purple usopp card from set five but i decided to throw brook in instead it is a searchable 2k counter but the ability to on play give two residon to a leader or one of my other characters i think is a really cool tech option and it's usable right away while the usopp card is only when attacking uh you get its ability of course three of the no block rush luffy cards great um searchable it's, it can go in for that final kill if need be. I'm currently teching in two of the starter deck 10 Sanjis. I think they're really neat, just as another 6k rush body with counter, though I can definitely see myself removing this card in replace of something else, though I'm not sure what that is at the moment. Uh, the boss monster of the deck is Monkey D. Luffy. I'm thinking I may need to find a way to buff this up to three. I was running originally two Kaidos and two, uh, sorry, two Rush Kaidos and two Rush Luffys, but I just feel like the Kaido, you don't want to go down that low on Dawn. Uh, you really just want to keep your Dawn up as high as you can. Uh, minusing maybe one to two a turn, but minusing six is a little, sorry, five or six is a little much. Uh, maybe I might replace the Sanjis for two more Luffys or one replace one Sanji with one Luffy uh, because two I feel like is not enough but um, let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, two sorry four copies of Frenoske, uh yeah Frenoske. it's just another 2k counter that you can search but it's uh, its ability is uh, if you have, if it has one Dawn on him if you have eight or more Dawn this character gains rush so worst case it's another 5k rush for six Dawn so not off it's not amazing but it's not awful of course, the card that helps make the deck work uses Captain Kid being able to cycle Dawn. If you can get two of these on board, you're going to be sitting pretty because you minus one Dawn, you ramp two Dawn, so you're going to be net pl net plusing one Dawn. Uh, card's great. Uh, we have the Purple Queen for obvious reasons. Two Trafalgar Laws uh, because it's a great a blocker with an ability like uh, that it does being able to trash two cards out of your opponent's hand the problem is when i play this when when i'm playing people they never ever ever have more than seven cards or more than six cards in their hand because they know this card exists in purple decks so this rarely ever goes off it might be one of those things that i have to get rid of it because it's just not doing what it needs to do next we have four copies of heat card's great being a th essentially a three cost 6k body on board as long as you're ramping uh you're minusing you're minusing a don it's fantastic 
Radical Beams. The card is goaded. One, uh, one cost 4k counter. And worst case, if you get it on Dawn, it does boost your leader by one. Uh, by 1k, so. Uh, then we have two Gum Gum Jet Gatlings. You do have a lot of bigger bodies um, in some cards that just don't have counter power. So you can trash a 1k or a no counter card to get a three, uh, 3k boost. Plus, if you get it off trigger, it essentially just, you know, uh, you get you ramp it down if it's in life. I run three copies of When You're at Sea, You Fight Pirates. It essentially is a uh, one drop search top three for any card in this deck. It is a Straw Hat, Kid Pirates, or Heart Pirates. So essentially, every card in this deck becomes searchable. So, really neat. And as a one cost, oh, sorry, a one of tech card, Punk Rotten. Uh, two cost, being able to minus one Don, choose one of your leaders or characters with Kid Pirates attribute and give it 5k power. So, this is a great card to throw in on your leader, uh, on your blocker kid, um, on heat. But mostly you want to focus on your leader to take out some big bodies. I think one running it as a one-of is kind of rough, but I, it's so hard to find space in this deck. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like I said, the cards that are on the chopping block to be removed, probably the four-drop Law and the six-drop Sanji. But let me know what you guys think, because I really like the idea of this deck. It's just, I'm missing something. And it's also not the type of deck I normally play. I'm more of a blue player. I play more control. So I'm trying to step into new things. <clears throat> but let me know what you guys think. And uh, I will check you out on the next video. Take care, guys. How the story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. Yago, 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 oh, oh. His name is Luffy, that's Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy.